Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now the issues that have followed that are issues that I think we need to to face with uh, without emotions because if we use emotions we are going to be misunderstood I think it's time that Zambians need to be told the truth and nothing but the truth based on the provisions of our constitution and the provisions of the law it's when Bachitila Limbule Sansa Tadila Mena Mishina Ichiwe Mbachitila Limbule Sansa Tadila Mena Mishina Countrymen and women and all those who are watching us let me say that uh, if we are not careful if we are not careful in Zambia we are going to create a political monster that will be very difficult to control or indeed to remove. I'll repeat that. If we are not careful, Zambians, all of us collectively, whether in the opposition or in the ruling party, if we are not going to be careful, we are going to create a monster that we are, will be very, very difficult to remove or control. Why do I say so? It is because of the attitude of us Zambians. I must say that us Zambians, we've got a very bad attitude towards our governance, our de democratic tenants, and our democratic dispensation. I must say that us Zambians, we've got a very bad attitude, a laissez-faire attitude towards issues affecting our governance, our democracy, and institutions of government. We take a very laissez-faire attitude towards these things. And yet, these are the things that are at the core of national development. These are things that if they are not observed, the country may end up being undeveloped for many years to come. If we get very serious about issues of governance and confront them as they come with the right attitude and with being sincere with ourselves, Zambia will develop. What we are seeing in Zambia today creates fertile, a very fertile ground for somebody to become a dictator and a monster that we are not going to control. It all started with the issues surrounding the ka, 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 uh, Kwacha and Kabushi by elections. What happened during the Kabushi and Kwacha by election is something that every reasonable Zambian should con condemn in no and strongest terms and with the contempt that it deserves. But what did we see? We saw some people celebrating, some people supporting. When we could see that what was done was illegal, and against all norms provided for under our constitution. The constitution court 
which is the highest court in the land to deal with constitution matters, ruled that uh, when you you are uh, your seat has been nullified, it's not the same as eligibility. Does not mean that when your seat has been nullified, you should you are equally uh, 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 prevented from running for office. What did we see? What we saw that the ruling party with impunity, using the Electoral Commission of Zambia, went ahead to conduct elections without allowing Honorable Malangi and Honorable Bowman Busambo to recontest their seats. The elections went on, despite the, the fact that there was apathy, and that apathy was created because people were not happy with the turn of events. But we've sat down as Zambians and just accept that uh, <laughs> the two MPs sitting in Kabushi and Kwacha were duly elected when we know for sure that that election was stolen that was a sham of election now immediately you create that impression you are making those that uh, 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 that those that created that atmosphere to think that they were right when in actual fact we should have condemned them and say that we should not allow those two MPs to be in office. That aside, today we are seeing a situation where the ruling party using the police wants to obliterate the patriotic front using under and methods. When I addressed uh, uh, the, the country, I think uh, last week, I did allude to the fact that uh, the Patriotic Front has got a constitution, which constitution spells out how a general conference can be convened. In a nutshell, one, the Central Committee must have a resolution to say that we are going to order a, 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 a general conference. Once they make that resolution, they ask for people to put in applications to show their interest to contest. Once their interest is declared through the Office of Secretary General, the Central Committee will reconvene. Once the Central Committee reconvenes, they will make recommendations to the National Council. The National Council will sit to approve those who should now go and file in nominations for election at the general conference 24 hours before the elections. And what is the composition of the uh, National Council? The composition of the National Council is all members of the Central Committee, all district se secretaries, all district chairmen, all provincial uh, secretaries and provincial chairmen, all mayors, all councillors, all MPs, etc., etc. And the National Council is chaired by the chairman of the party, and the convention also is chaired by the chairman of the party. All these have been outlined in the Constitution. Now, what begs an answer is that why should the registrar of society even entertain change of office bearers by one mile sampa and this uh, faction when none of these procedures were followed? And by the way, when you are registering a political party, countrymen and women, you, we do deposit a constitution with the Registrar of Society. The whole essence of depositing your constitution is for the Registrar to check 
whether you are running your political party in conformity with the provisions of your constitution especially that now political parties are no longer club but they are constitutional institutions which are spelled out in the 2016 uh, 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 you know uh, uh, constitution the 2016 amended national constitution the job of the uh, the job of the registrar of societies is that if there is any dispute in a political party first and foremost people don't even need to go to court the registrar is a referee who can say that look this dispute that you have your constitution spells the following things and if you did not meet any of these criteria to do whatever action not only uh, the, holding the general conference or elections whatever action that may bring uh, uh, you know dispute the registrar will advise and says no we cannot do this because you did not follow your constitution that was deposited with our office now we are extremely disappointed that there has been attempts by the registrar of society to change office bearers merely by a letter coming from Mao Sampa claiming that he had held a, a, a general conference and was elected president of the Patriotic Front. Even when you see the videos from that general conference, one would tell that that was a fake and sham gathering look when they applied for the police permit and when they applied for the use of the Mulungush international conference they said the, the pf is going to have a retreat and in the pf constitution there's no provision for a retreat so right from the beginning what Mao sampa reported on this group were all lies that cannot be entertained and what is so annoying is that that uh, so-called extraordinary general conference was held on the 24th of october and we have a letter it ended around 18 hours on the 24th of october and the same 24th in the evening the commission of police the deputy commission of police wrote a letter to the registrar of societies clearing the uh, names of office bearers for Mao Sampa that he was elected as president now I have registered a party before we have tried to change uh, office bearers before there is no way there's never been a time that the police have cleared the names within an hour or two because what happened like i've said there was this letter by the commission of police to the registrar of societies telling her that we have cleared these names and you can go ahead and effect changes on the pf by nine hours in the morning the the fingerprints were cleared and the letter rendered to the registrar of societies the police became very efficient for the first time i can give you examples of applications or scenarios where the registrar of societies has refused to change office bearers when a matter is in court the first one is the the uh, ndc transmission the first one was for the ndc when the way rang was in the ndc comrade mwenyamu sengge said he, he was the president of the ndc and that uh, i was not the president of ndc etc etc he went approached the registrar of societies to try and change
they started uh, playing with the, with the network. I was saying that we had a similar situation when I was in the NDC, where Mwenyamu Senge just woke up and wrote a letter to the Registrar of Societies to say that uh, they have, um, he was the right president of the NDC and requested that names uh, be changed of office bearers. We took Mwenyamu Senge to court to challenge his action. When we took him to court, the Registrar of Societies refused both parties, our part side and the side of Mwenyamu Senge, refused to entertain any change of office bearers. And the reason she gave was simple. She said we cannot effect any changes unless the matters in court are concluded and true to our word when the matters were concluded she accepted the constitution and accepted to change the office bearers in the case of the mutati versus nakachinda equally the registrar of societies refused to change the names of the office bearers that until the court matters were exhausted. In the case of Ari Karawa with uh, Judith Kalemba and others, the Registrar of Societies again refused to change office bearers as long as the matters were in court. There was no need of an injunction. There was no need of a restraining order. The Registrar of Societies acted on just a mere fact that the dispute had been taken to court. Now, ask yourselves, countrymen and women, why is it that the same Registrar of Society who refused to change office bearers for MMD, for uh, 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 National Democratic Congress, and of course for Calabas uh, uh, DP, Democratic Party, why should they be in a hurry before the matters are concluded? to change the office bearers. It simply shows you that there is political interference from the party in office. And that's why I said, if all of us Zambians collectively, we become responsible and show the government of the day, it doesn't matter which government, that what they are trying to do at a certain time is wrong, then this country will develop. But if we are going to support because today I am UPND, if UPND makes a mistake, then it is okay. Because today I am PF, if PF makes a mistake, then it is okay. This country will forever be in conflict without registering any development at all. What was wrong in MMD should not be right in PF. What was wrong in PF should not be right in UPND. We've never seen the level of involvement of police in a private political dispute like the one we've seen this time, where police are spending the whole day, the whole night with hammered vehicles surrounding the PF secretariat, not allowing anybody to access the secretariat not allowing the, the office bearers that are registered at the registrar of societies not allowing anybody except they just want to allow the mouse sampa uh, uh, you know uh, faction but the truth of the matter is that there are no people in Mao Sampa's <laughs> uh, side who can even go to the secretariat. If there is anybody, if there is anybody who has to go to the secretariat, then it just has to be maybe Mao Sampa himself, because he has got no following from within the rank and file of the Patriotic Front. But police to part. Don't be used on issues that you know that it is unprofessional. I request the police to be professional and leave the PF secretariat. I request 
that the police leave the PF secretariat with immediate effect because your being there is illegal. Now that you've seen that pressure is mounting, you have now started saying, no, we are at the secretariat to protect the property. How do you go to protect a property that is not under threat? The PF has not complained to you that the property is under threat, but police are surrounding the PF, uh, 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 you know, secretariat, refusing all the legitimate owners of the property to have access. In short, you have brought the operations of the a PF constitution to a complete standstill. For what? In whose interest? It clearly shows that there is a hand of the ruling party. If we continue allowing this to happen, we are going to kill our democracy. Zambians chose to go multi party democracy after repealing uh, Article 4 of the Constitution in 1990, ushering in multipartism. And we should not allow anybody, and I mean anybody, whether president, whether chiefs, whether ordinary people, to play with our cherished democracy. What we are seeing today under UPND if we don't take affirmative action as Zambians to say no to dictatorship, to say no to illegal operations, this country will never develop. I have seen a lot of UPND cadres celebrating and said, yes, this is what PF used to do. My dear brothers and sisters, a wrong is a wrong. It doesn't matter who, who, who uh, perpetuates uh, that uh, wrong. The same way you were complaining when you are in the opposition should be the same way you should be complaining to those in government that what you are doing is wrong. Because this political power, by the way, is very temporal. I have said and I want to say it again. I was a minister. I'm not a minister anymore. President Lakainde Ichilema is president today. He will not be president for life. He will not be president for good. So to temper or play with uh, uh, democratic institutions, governance institutions, is not good for anybody. This operation of closing the PF Secretariat, of uh, pronouncing that Mao Sampa is uh, the legitimate president of the NC, it's basically a UPND-driven agenda. Look at the security that he was given when he held this sham of a, of, of a convention. How many opposition leaders have been provided with security at, to that uh, magnitude or to that level? None. Please, by UPND, I've told you before, my brother, that you had the opportunity to rewrite the history of this country by doing the right thing. But alas, alas you've even become worse than all the previous governments put together. During the last election campaign, I told people that President, my brother HH cannot be president, cannot make a good president because he is a very bitter man. I don't even know what makes him bitter. When he was in the opposition, we, we thought he was bitter because he was in the opposition. But now he's got the instruments of power. Why should you continue with the bitterness? Let bygones be bygones. Open a new page. You cannot run a country with bitterness. Because you make so many mistakes. I implore you, my dear brother, that chill. Chill. Take, a, uh, <laughs> take time to reflect on the uh, performance of your government vis-a-vis -vis the institutions of governance. You have taken the police to arrest anybody who speaks against your government. Any criticism today, imagine that you can take somebody...
two police cells, he falls sick, you are still guarding him at a clinic or at the hospital. When that somebody is entitled to a police bond, why not just give him a police bond? He goes to, 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 to the hospital in peace. Because it's, it's an entitlement. But you give, you refuse to give people police bond when you say it in your own words that police must investigate matters before they affect an arrest. And immediately they arrest, they give police bond. But what are we seeing today? Something else. These are matters that you complained. These are matters that you complained against when you are in the opposition. But why do them to your friend? And now you are going to make people lose confidence in the judiciary. And that will be very dangerous for a democracy. I don't know how many laymen in as far as law is concerned, but I think I've never seen a situation where a court can discharge an ex party order with another ex party order when a day for inter party has even been put forward. I have never seen it. my recollection of many matters in court. I have never heard of a situation where an expert order can be discharged after three days with another ex expert order. What I thought should have happened was that if the other party was not satisfied with the order, they should have applied to the court to bring the, 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 the case forward earlier than the one month that they had given so that they could be heard inter part. But to go and entertain another expert order to discharge an earlier expert leaves much to be desired. I am a firm believer in the institution of the judiciary and I hold the judiciary in very high esteem. But I want to be educated by the lawyers, Law Association of Zambia, whether indeed discharging an expert order by way of another expert order, when an inter-party date has been set, is legally uh, uh, correct. I, I don't know. I, I stand to be challenged, but from what I know is that an expert order is temporal because you believe that the people that have applied for an expert order have a good case. Then you invite the other party to come and argue the case. But why should you immediately after two, three days discharge that expert order using another expert application from the other side? You know, we seem to be putting the judiciary on trial and it's not fair. Leave the judiciary out of the politics. Let the judiciary do their job independently. Christopher Mundia, Haimbe, Levi, Ngoma, stop what you are doing. I will repeat that. Christopher Mundia, Levi, Ngoma, Haimbe, stop what you are doing. Leave the judiciary to operate independently. Because if people lose hope, trust, and confidence, in the judiciary, this country would be a kangaroo court or a failed state. Would be a failed state. We must be ashamed as Zambians to be acting in this way. And by the way, I don't know whether the issue of certificate of agents do apply in our courts at the moment. Because the matter where somebody wants to take over an organization by crooked means or by illegal means, usually people apply, do a put in a certificate of agents to show that this matter is extremely urgent. Now, if there is a certificate of urgency, why should the court give one month? Why should the court give one month in which to hear the matter 
where there is a certificate of agents why even accept people to file in a certificate of agents if you can keep it one month from the layman point of view what i know is that when you put in a certificate of agents you can even follow a judge to their homes to issue the order you can even follow a judge even at the weekend to issue an order because there is a certificate of agents but what we are seeing now where there is a certificate of agents the court give one month to hear the matter all these things that is happening at the party secretariat is being created because of that one month period in which to hear the matter and by police back to you again tear gassing people using rubber bullets to disperse people who just went to protect their property they were not being violent you've always talked about the way our brothers died in saman sama joseph kaunda and mapenzi eh, Chibulo. these people died as a result of crowd control by the police when there is a protest or a political gathering should we continue because mr president every time you have a discourse you always talk about the death of these people now if really you've been so concerned about how these people died could you allow your own police to start uh, firing live shots and uh, rubber bullets and also using uh, 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 you know uh, uh, tear gas one child died of tear gas at the university of zambia at the hands of police i've just forgotten the name of that girl who died sure I think we need to change the way we do things. You go to fire. By the way, two people were shot yesterday using rubber bullets. Mr. Davis Mwila had his window shattered, and another PF card had his window shattered by a rubber, a rubber bullet why should zambia accept or allow such things to be happening who does to roll a meat who does to roll a meat who has condemned this action by the police the action by the registrar of society and by the way zambian square but jack mwimbu i have always said and i want to say it again in sony Ubuntu. jack mwimbu you are a lawyer Mr. Akafumba, my dear brother, who I hold in very high esteem, but I don't know if after this I'll ever hold him in high esteem. Permanent Secretary, lawyer, Minister Lawyer, you allow the mouse some per thing to be registered with the Registrar of Society who you supervise. Set yourselves, gentlemen. Set yourselves. Attorney General, set yourselves. Set yourselves. Set your souls. Let us do the right thing for Mother Zambia. No matter how bitter the truth can be, but just do the, the, the right thing. Jack Mwimbu, when there were these confusions between uh, Honorable Mwenyam Senge and uh, uh, our NDC. You spoke about it in Parliament. You spoke about it in Parliament, I remember very well, condemning it, saying the registrar must not interfere. So, Alela and Rafetu show to keep, uh, keep up appearances. Today, you are minister, you are doing the same thing. You condemned the killing of Unsamansama, Joseph Kaunda, Mapezi Chiwolo, by the police using force. Today, you go and ask the police to use force on innocent PF members who just went to access their secretariat. 
That is why when I started Zambians, I said, Ichiwe mbachitila li mbule sansa, dalila amena mishila. Elo ichiwe mbafuti chitila, chichidi fie, ta chifimfia mkonso. Chisesa chitonto, litonfua. Mweba mnina ane, na mpapata. Lesa engemi kila mitima enu to make sure that you do the right thing. And I want to tell you, you PND, no matter what you do, illegal things that you are going to do, when your time to leave office come, <laughs> you will go. And you are directing your arsenals to the wrong institutions. It is not fellow political parties that will move you out of office. Never be cheated. It will never be another political party to remove you out of office. It is the people of Zambia. When they see how you are conducting yourselves, all these things that you are doing, the people of Zambia are taking note. And they are comparing with what you are saying when you are in the opposition and what you are doing when you are in government now. For instance, Laura Mitty used to condemn a lot of things under PF, and she's condemning. Where Bishop Teresa Fompundu used to condemn, and she's condemning. Are you not ashamed that you should be reminded of doing the right thing? Tell your part that what you are doing is wrong. against your own people sure against your own people ah we fi muleke muleke nobody has succeeded in using state institutions to stay in power nobody and you will not succeed. You need failed, MMD failed, PF failed, you are also going to fail. Because ultimately, it is the people of Zambia who vote in governments. You would kill PF today because that is the, 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 the program of uh, uh, UPND. You think when you kill PF, then you'll be in office for the rest of uh, uh, your natural lives you are misleading yourselves you would kill PF today another party will be formed and in fact Zambians the way they act when you squeeze them too much they will come together like they did come together in 1991 and stop it run the country in a manner that is accepted acceptable a manner that respects our constitution. A manner that respects institutions of government like the police, the registrar of societies, etc. In a nutshell, what is happening to PF is not a fight for Mao Sampa. It is the UPND government fighting the PF using Hagainde Ichilema, the president. Because if the president doesn't want illegal things to happen in his government, he will just give orders. Can you stop what you are doing? Remove those police officers from the PF secretary. They will be removed. But he's there and quiet about it, enjoying it. <laughs> Enjoy it while, while it lasts. But I've been a Zambia, but I've been a Zambia, my brother. Leke fio lechita. Leke fio lechita. Ta kwa kulu uku chila kwa kukubo mfia being used by others. Abantu bambi ngeba le kubo mfia uku chitechi ntu ninshi uwa wupuwa wupuwa wapitirila. Chawama we mwine nuole ichitilechi ntu but it is clear that what is happening as the hand of UPND like I've given examples. No police interfered 
in the NDC Rangos. No police interfered in the UPND Rangos. No police interfered in the Democratic Party Rangos. Abene resolved their problems. We never saw where the police took over the NDC Secretariat to prevent people from going there. We never saw where the police took the DP Secretariat. We never saw where police took the MMD Secretariat. Why should your police today? Why G? Balungu ba isa ba ya ku secretariat ba sanga na kukomwa ba kanya ba police au ifota pale for tungalanda we are working on on instructions you go and find out from from uh, police headquarters we come to a police headquarters he is told no you cannot be allowed to enter the police station a police station is a public place the police force headquarters is a public place. How can you refuse the former head of state to enter a police station? Ah, <laughs> Hello, my brother, Bayui, the one who is in charge of security. I'm calling you my brother because in Zambia we must respect one another and we must love one another because we are all Zambians. Amano ya lubuli munina na yesanga mwalwa. Abe mbaba tila amano ya lubuli yesanga mwalwa. Ye pali amu ma left hook na right hook. Na na chumuma nga chipona. Na baku makale na lupua. Behavior ili amule mkweteva yui ya kuwa disrespective. Even to president, former president Edgar Lungu, you should stop my brother. You should stop arrogance. They are not showing alelo. Hey, yes, sir. Hey, yes, Mr. Long, what can we do for you? No, we want to see the edge. No, we cannot allow you. He told you, no, you cannot decide whether you can allow me or not. This is a police station. I have told you I have the power. I have refused. We ca I cannot allow you to, to, to come in. Bayui, do you want the police? Do you want the police, Bayui? I can. I, I. <laughs> By you, it will end in tears. Mao Sampa, it will end in tears. Na imo we wambi mo eba mo ba mo aba pala ba mo na mo nta na wambi mo ba konkere Mao Sampa ibo eleni mo because it's clear that. Mao Sampa is a hired gun by the UPND to destroy PF. But I want to tell you that PF to ali chuli la to ali chuli la PF. To attempt PF mutu zero zero one na basata. To build it, we have suffered. Don't destroy PF. The police, from any secretariat, the secretariat here. You know. Secretariat is not under any threat. Leave us to operate the part from our secretariat. In conclusion. I want to say that what was wrong under MMD can never be right under UPND. What was wrong under PF cannot be right under the UPND. A wrong is a wrong, regardless of who uh, perpetuates it. Mwebe na Zambia stand up. Mwebe na Zambia stand up. Elo bane, mwebe na Zambia, let's be united. I idea ya kula support a fintu nangu kana support a fintu because you belong to a certain region must come to an end we should love one another Zambia has got 10 provinces 73 tribes all the tribes, all the regions are important in making decisions for the country appointments etc we must be wary of the fact that we have 73 tribes 10 provinces and all the 10 provinces all the 73 tribes must take part in the governance of this country without any discrimination equally chintunga na chiluva te kwa batu pantu president uli pomuwe mba ababe mba kulalanda fiyata alifiyo wino 
na ngubale la alin sana Teko wat president huli ponga mutu mbuka Kula yu watiyo pandu mutu mbuka mwenensu alifebu ino even if ya leluba Banetule kechi It is going to lead us into very serious divisions In fact, umundu kwewe la kwe chilu wole landa A person who tells you Against the wrong that you are doing loves you Than a person who is telling you that you are doing the right thing when you are doing the wrong thing Now Samba my brother I heard you today saying no If Lung was to come back as president of the party He should apply Then we'll consider his application Let's learn to be sincere Miles Zambians in case you don't know I was not in that central committee That sat When President Lungu brought his resignation Mao Sampa was in that meeting And I have seen the minutes And I have been told That it was unanimously resolved That uh, the uh, resignation of Lungu was rejected by the Central Committee Where even Mao Sampa was And he knows this I saw the minutes today Where the Central Committee said No, we are not accepting your resignation But we accept you to go on leave Until you come and hand over To the incoming president Which simply means He never resigned And you the people Mao Sampa included the entire central committee Rejected his resignation And I'm told even people were even crying In that meeting And one of the people who also shed tears Was Mao Sampa In pursuing President Lung not to resign So please let's be sincere Mao Sampa Mao Sampa meeting Mao Sampa No we have rejected your resignation But we are allowing you to go on an indefinite leave until you come and hand over. Now, if somebody was on an indefinite leave and he comes back and say, no, I have come back because you, you rejected my resignation. Why should you today turn around and say, no, he has to apply, apply to, to you, Miles. Are you sure, my brother? Apply to you. No, Naba Chama America Hello naba Mr. Ground Ebo balungu waka chiteko apply Come on, mad jokes lah Fee sell if you want Fee sell if you I don't want to be sarcastic But kwa di wamu ntumunu mchilo cha lo hula Nda tuko kutumpa I think kulale hula nda tuko kutumpa Nda kutumpo kutumpa ye uku Umu anamunga nda isa imadini newe iso So ba dadu fumale lo mule njitati dadu Nena kula mitatu muana Mao Zekef Sela, my brother Come back to your senses It's never too late Come back to your senses Zekef Once I was able to start celebrating It went in tears, my brother It went in tears Stop it And come back to your senses If you are late, start a few women And tell people the truth That you were part of the meeting That rejected President Ed Galungo's resignation Now today you want to lie I know he resigned So he should apply It's not right I don't want to be emotional Or attach emotions when advising about this matter Because this matter is extremely important That Zambians must learn to say no to wrong things Not just support for the sake of supporting I have been very consistent about condemning wrong things And I will continue the same trajectory Musenda mepo mkwai mwewe na Zambia once Send them a win. Reflect on what I've told you, Zambians, and let's start telling people the truth. Laura Miti, kudos, my sister. 
chama 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 funda funda chama fumba fumba chama where are you wale imbane nyimbo lyo mwanse when wrong things are done kanchi tumu mutasha kuli kali ku isaya bakupera french to match one disease most of the ngo people were speaking loudest have been given jobs and are quiet no let's not let's stop doing that and build our zambia so that posterity does not judge us harshly let's leave zambia better than we found it this thing of perpetuating wrong things all the time is not right it's not taking us anywhere leave the patriotic front alone by upnd mundia mwacho and mundia special assistant to the president for legal wale ilishanya sana when you were my lawyer on almost everything but you are in the forefront na living home na imbe na ivana wakati yo twaba sona tamba sona ne mulei sona those offices you are holding are very temporal they are constitution offices where once government changes you are not there use those offices to create linkages friendship build bridges don't bend bridges because you use those same bridges to cross back elo nama government feyons ama government bane wa president hh certain positions needs mature people certain positions needs mature people mila anga shefu fulo mila anga shefu fulo if you are a special assistant to the president tell the president the truth don't tell the president what he wants to hear tell them nothing but the truth na totala mkwa i hope mwangu fefio na sosa esampale long live zambia good night chishimba kambwili signing off All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I will be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I got to go.